It's all right. Oh, I used to have a uh, a 660. Yeah. Yeah, ages ago. They're pretty good. Like 765, I think. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been enjoying the reviews lately um, and today we are on another Triumph. Um, this is the Street Triple RS. Big thanks to the guys at Sydney Triumph. Shout out to Nick hooking us up with this bike today. Really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah guys, this is a bike that I've been wanting to ride for quite some time now. If you've been following the channel, you know I had a 660 uh, Street Triple back in the day. Uh, I also had a Speed Triple RS. Um, and I have, I've been yet to ride um, this bike. So this is really exciting. And um, yeah, really cool. Such a cool looking bike. I mean, this is really, realistically, this is all you'd ever need. Uh, I think it looks awesome in this matte black, although it is hard to keep clean. I had a matte black Ducati that was a bit of a pain to keep clean, but um, looks great when they are clean. Uh, this comes standard with Pirelli Super Corsa SPs, uh, quick shifter up and down, Brembo brakes, great LCD screen, um, these amazing bar end mirrors. You know, it basically comes with everything. Got Olins on the rear, Showa, big piston forks on the front. Uh, you know, it's really well kitted out. Um, you know, and this bike here in Australia is 20 grand, just under. You know, fantastic, fantastic value for money. 765cc engine. Um, but yeah, guys, let's go for a spin and I'll uh, show you what it's like. Uh, uh, all right. So starting with this dash. And thank God this one's got a key. My Speed RS had just a fob. I do prefer the key. Great little startup screen. Oh, that and this triple sound can't really beat it. Yeah, great little screen. Obviously, you've got um, you know everything laid out. It's really clear. Uh, you got row. Oh, this is in sport. You got track. Rider, I think you can configurate how you want, uh, you know, individual settings. You got rain and road. Let's start off in road. I think you just, uh, yeah, let's hit that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love the triples. All right. Let's just close my visor. So first things first, let's start off with the comfort on this bike. So super comfortable, you know, these these bikes haven't changed a lot over the years. Um, I think even from the first Street Triple, the, um, the riding position hasn't really changed, uh, which is a really good thing. I'm not too, I'm a little bit forward position on my, you know, a little bit of weight on my wrists, but not too much, not uncomfortable. Uh, the foot pegs are not uncomfortable at all, especially coming from my s 1000 rr They're very, very comfortable. Um, which is something, you know, I'm in a little bit of a, in a position where I actually would really like a second bike, I think, as a bit of a commuter and an everyday sort of work bike. I do ride to work a little bit. Um, the S1000 is a fantastic bike, like I've, you know, I've said in my videos. I absolutely love that machine. Um, but, it is nowhere near as comfortable as this bike. Um, 
you know, and the performance is there on this bike as well. Um, and that's the other thing. It's a, it's a, you know, it's an enjoyable thing as well to get on a bike. It's got the performance. It's got all your top, you know, end bits on it. Um, it's got your O-lins. It obviously handles great. But a bike that is also comfortable it does make a difference and that's why I really I really do love these naked bikes um, you know just easy ease of use is just you know is so good on these um, you know you could literally ride this for three hours four hours and not not be any in any sort of pain um, you know I took my BMW recently down for about a two hour or actually it might have been it's actually a bit longer that might have been a three hour complete round trip and um, you know my it was funny the the most painful part of it was the the pressure on my my hips not so much uh, not so much the pressure on your hands, that wasn't that bad at all. It was more the pressure of, of being really tucked up. You know, and this doesn't have that problem at all. Oh, that triple, that triple soundtrack. Good downshifts, nice and smooth. I wanted this to be just a really real world sort of review. Um, I'm not gonna get too in depth with the numbers um, or the weight of this thing or anything like that. This has got about 90 kilowatts um, and I'll put up the Newton meters now. Um, and, and, it's and it's fairly light. It's got similar power to weight ratio as the speed, the old, the outgoing speed triple. Um, so, you know, your performance wise is, wise is pretty much on par, I think. Awesome, awesome bike. You know, the second gear, heaps of torque, and we're only in road mode. I think the other modes would have even more power. What a day it is here in Sydney. Beautiful day. Sun is out. Great day to be out on the bike. just love the way these bikes sound and with an aftermarket exhaust you throw a an SC project they're my favorite my favorite uh, uh, exhaust on this bike and they just sound absolutely fantastic you get the cracks and the pop pops on the uh, the overrun on it with a with a uh, aftermarket pipe and yeah, just that, you know, the handling. Oh, it's just, the turn-in's awesome. Quick shifter works fantastic. But yeah. yeah. And you wouldn't, you don't need to do anything to this bike. It looks fantastic off the showroom floor. You don't even, it's got your bar end mirrors. You know, all naked bikes should have bar ends. Um, it's all you need to do is change the exhaust and away you go. Right, that's it. That's all you do. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks, and you've got a awesome, awesome bike that is pretty much does everything really well. It's just so easy to use, so easy to ride. It just makes it so much more enjoyable. Such a good bike. I'm really impressed. Let's throw it in. Let's throw it in. Uh, 
sport mode, eh? Oh, just hit the horn, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I think you can obviously change. I don't know how to, but I'm not going to go into the dash too much because I don't really know. Oh, there we go. How to change too much on there, but riding modes, bike setup, trip, display, Bluetooth. It's got everything. Sorry if it's a bit windy guys, a bit of wind today, I need to change my setup on this helmet to my other helmet that I can actually uh, fully close because this one i still got a gap so the wind does come through so sorry about that if there's a bit of wind noise. Really handles really well, those Olins make a big difference. And third gear. Oh, heaps of power, heaps of power. Such a comfortable bike. I mean, <laughs> it's funny, you know, I always had naked bikes and I was always about, like, you know, having that sort of comfort and performance when I first started riding. You know, I was a big fan of, obviously, I always wanted the fastest bike there was. I always wanted it, you know, in my head, I always wanted the 200 horsepower bike. But to be honest, now that I've pretty much gone through everything from, you know, Lambs approved, you know, small capacity, 250 cc's, all the way up to, um, you know, what I've got now, 200 horsepower superbike. And, you know, I, I was riding yesterday to work and I really was saying to myself, I can't use any part of my 200 horsepower. I mean, I was, I was, I, I remember having a, 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 like I was at a set of lights and I said, right, I'm gonna give it some here. Just up to about 100 and, I think about 120. I got up to, but I didn't go past six and a half thousand on the tech, on the taco, six and a half at red lines at 14. So I, I couldn't even, on the street, you can't even get it there. So, you know, something like this is just so much more usable. And I can't stress it enough, being in my position, you know, now I actually think I'll probably end up going back down and getting something like this maybe the speed triple rs the new one but that's that again it is going to be a lot of money it's going to be 28 grand um you know where this has got everything uh sure it hasn't quite got the power but this is under 20 grand here in australia you know under 20 grand um you know, it's just fantastic value. Oh, that quick shifter is silky, silky smooth. Awesome quick shifter. Oh, it sounds so good. And the quick shift is really good. I think Triumph and BMW, what I've ridden so far, have the best quick shifters that you can buy. Um, you know, mine's super smooth. Although I do find that the Triumph quick shifters are actually better down low. So you can you don't have to be ringing it off its head. You can just be putting along like this, and it's set. You know, at 50 kilometers an hour, bang, into the next gear. Where mine hesitates, you've got to be on it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome bike. So 
so smooth. Yeah, so much more usable. You can, you know, you can really just... There's not too many Ks on this bike, I don't think. I don't know what's on this. It's still, Nick did say it's still in its running period. Can't find the kilometers there, but I'm sure it's not too many. Must be under a thousand. Really smooth, really love this bike. Really love it. Good visibility as well. These mirrors work really well. You could change them out to be the uh, the metal bar ends. I do like the metal ones. They look a little bit better than these ones. These ones look a little a little cheap. They're a bit plasticky, but you know that's that's very you know fairly fairly cheap things to do. Oh, that quick shifter is amazing. Can't get over it. Oh, and it's just so easy to put your feet on the pegs. Let's do a little bit of lane splitting. Let's see what this bike is like up to ADA. Yep, heaps of power. Don't need any more than that. No way. That is way more than you need for the road. Uh, the other things guys to note, uh, I get my exhaust put on tomorrow. Uh, so that's going to be a super exciting video. I'm so, I can't wait to see what it actually sounds like with the uh, the new exhaust. Uh, the tune will also go on very shortly. I'm going to go with the I think I'm going to go with the Brent tune. So yeah, guys, some exciting stuff for the channel coming up really shortly. smooth as well sitting what am I fourth gear now and just cruising along no vibrations whatsoever rear brakes good We're just gonna turn around up here guys but yeah guys this has been an awesome awesome insight for me really um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well I've, I've always wanted to to ride this bike and and share with you guys what this is like it's been on my list for ages now um, but yeah it's um you know it hasn't disappointed I didn't I didn't think it was gonna disappoint and uh, yeah, it's, I mean, oh, what a bike, what a motorcycle. Look at this weather, guys. It's just fantastic here in Sydney at the moment. Absolutely amazing. This is, uh, we're in Port Botany, so we're near all the, um, the shipping containers are.
Awesome, awesome bike. Let's stick it into track for a minute. See what that's like. See if it changes anything. I believe each mode does, um, what I've heard, does, does make a difference. The, um, the road to the sport definitely can notice that the uh, the throttle response is a little better in, in sport um, and uh, yeah and I, I'm guessing in track it's going to be even better listen to that guys love a triple you know really good quality as well just everything's finished really well you know, this top clamp is beautiful. Brembo, master cylinder. Um, you know, such a cool bike. God, really takes off at like 7,000. Jesus Christ, you gotta hold on. Uh, we'll come in here, we're going to do a, uh, a few photos. That down shoot, that quick shifter is amazing. Alright guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos and I'll catch you next time don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys and keep riding and I'll see you next time thanks guys